Are you going to ride on the... Huh? I think the bow here. Ja. Jag håller inte så där inte flyger ni. Ja, den här. Ja. Ja. Backs up to a um, to a cell tower, 57 meter line. So that's pretty long. Pretty calm down here, but up there it's, it can be a little bit gusty. If I can get my ground gown radio. The body. Yes. Second or uh, fourth. Yeah. Perfect. Good test on the hook. 57 meters. Goes without saying. Easy does it. Oh, come on, close. Easy does it. It's just going to be start holding the bag on the right until we uh, get a little bit up so that he doesn't get sandblasted too bad. And also we get the... Yeah, it's really dry down here. Alright, we are airborne. Yeah, super dry. All right, we are 15 meters off the ground. We are 30 meters off the ground. Yeah, it's a little bit windy today. 42. Oh, correction, 36. 42. Then the last 15. And then there's three meters of the uh, slings. 
Uh, I don't need to be dead center over, but I want to be center over-ish because uh, if you're not, once it goes, you basically just want to lift it up and keep going. Because it's going to be really hard to stop pendulums at this height. Pretty well. So I believe the wind was coming from here ish. The tower is over there. So I'm going to fly like that. I'm just going to get over these trees here. So effectively, now there's about 60 meters from the bottom of the load and up to the helicopter. So judging the height is going to be really hard. So I'm just going to try to shoot an approach, just keep the load moving as smoothly as possible until it's going to hit the ground. I can see like if they're reaching for it, the guy's on the ground, but uh, basically I don't want to stop, don't want to stop moving. Yeah, there's a, yeah, there's a few gusts up here. Alright, I think the tower is about 50 meters high. It should be 50 meters anyways. Now we have these uh, bar dunes, or the, I don't know if that's the word for it, the guy lines uh, coming out of it. So I just need to double check that I know where those are. I'm going to come in like that and then go towards the right and then kind of back it in. Or maybe towards the right a little bit. The wind is coming from here ish. Oh, never mind. He had a different idea. I'm just going to keep moving straight into the right then. Uh, could not have worked out any better. That's what I see now. Oh, there I fucking go. Yeah, but that was way easier than I thought it would be. Oh, that velcro strap is annoying the hell out of me right now. Okay, nice and easy to know that I got the tower in my sights. So I'm just going to use that as a basic reference of uh, my uh, drift. Shadow has a big help. Oh, this guy needs to touch it. Yeah, he's not doing a good job. He should have taken that and put it in securely. Uh, not just letting me do all the work. Usually, like that, the wind catches the sling and it flies all over the place. Yeah, not very experienced on the ground, I would assume. Let's get it out of there. Yeah, what happens uh, if you're... You want to grab it no matter what. Doesn't matter if it looks super smooth or not. You want to be putting it in the best possible location every single time. Complacency is really annoying, and it leads to mistakes. But I mean, the delivery was smooth enough, so I guess he just... On the ground it looks like it's just coming down and it's gonna be alright, but... Every now and again it's gonna... What happened now is gonna happen. Like he didn't take the first one, and as soon as I let pressure off it, it fell over didn't fall over per se, but it uh, kind of, yeah, slanted to one side before I caught it. But we'll do it again, and now he hopefully he knows. And also he should hold the hook until I, uh, I can move into wind. That way when the wind can't... Okay, go ahead, don't know again. I don't know, I'm going to get a movement. Ah, but I'm going to get to the second leg of the board. Yep. It's very hard with the precision on this altitude, so I'm just going to hit the...
gravel basically is what he said, and then uh, he's gonna walk it over to the to the to the bag. Uh, the wind gust coming in here. All right, I'm gonna use my peripheral to keep my helicopter steady. Uh, it gives me the sign to go up. Tighten the flank slowly. A little bit back and left. Yeah, it does not go straight up, but it goes straight enough. All right, so same thing again. I'm going to assume that this time he's not going to hold the hook for me until I move into the wind a little bit more. Uh, the reason, what I meant is uh, when I let go of the hook, he, or he gives me the sign to cut it, he can just grab the hook and then hold it until I can move a little bit into wind because there's high trees above it, uh, correction, uh, behind me, and there's a, obviously the tower in front. So when I let the load go, uh, the wind is going to catch it and blow it into the trees. Usually it's not a problem, but it can catch the electrical wires and stuff, and you can uh, you can ruin the electrical wiring and stuff, which is really annoying. I had to land, tape it up and stuff. But yeah, I'm just gonna assume that he's not gonna do that this time, and I will just lower it a little bit further down, and then we'll let it go. Uh, then hopefully it shouldn't be a problem because it's not too tight down there. Uh, there's quite a lot of room. Um, even though it might look, it probably looks pretty small on camera. I don't know if it's going to catch anything of this on camera. Alright, we're about 30 meters above the uh, tower, I would assume. Or, yes. So it's about 15 meters above the highest trees down here. So again, e easy peasy. Uh, the wind's blowing a little bit further back this time. I think the load might be lighter. It's definitely bigger, so it has more of a... It catches more wind. But... There's not too much precision here, so I can uh, kind of take it down towards the middle and then uh, move it that last bit towards him uh, once I'm down safe inside the uh, uh, Bardunas' trees. Bardunas' trees. So now I'm just looking at the tower. Oh, a little wind gust. Keep the tower in sight. He's got the load. Gonna lower it down. It's on the ground. All right. I'm just not gonna assume that he's gonna do anything. So I'm gonna move forward and then release it. And the wind catches it again too much. A whole lot actually. All right, it's free. I'm gonna go quickly up. To be fair, there wasn't too much he could have done there anyways. As soon as he would have let it go, it would have gone, gone, gone been blown uh, backward anyways. It would have helped a little bit so that I know that I could just pull it out instead of waiting until it's kind of in the middle and timing it with the wind.
Badly, but uh, you can, like now you can definitely see it. Uh, barely moving on the trees down here. Or it's gonna be dusty. So I know where I'm gonna land. I'm just gonna go down pretty quickly. And uh, Loadmaster has already made sure that uh, he gives me a little bit extra rope because he's not going to be able to look up, I think. He's going to hurt his face right now. Uh, he looks up. He gives me the thumbs up even. That's good. Alright. Okie dokie. Grass is better. Just released. 